Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love, what are the current energies for you in love, and then we'll also look a little bit at the person that you might be dealing with, what do we need to know about them. Um, so yeah, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. If you find that this doesn't resonate much for you, check out the Capricorn playlist listed in the description box. All right, let's jump right in for Capricorn. Angels, guys. Messages, guys, please, for Capricorn. Does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? And love messages for Capricorn Spirit. Wow, Page of Cups, Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, King of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio Energy, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Overall energy is yes, the Magician. Okay. So there's definitely someone taking action here. I think it's communication. Uh, we have the Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles is here. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Does not have to be. That just happens to be the sign that has shown up so far. Um, Knight of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. So this is a slow, methodical, practical approach to success. I think that this is a, an opportunity that someone wants to have with you. Um, and they want to take their time here, but I feel like there's also a bit of overthinking or fear with the Eight of Swords about the action that they're going to take towards you or what they have to tell you. But the overall energy is the Magician, and the Magician is going to do whatever it takes. Basically, they're, you know, manifestors, creators, very powerful energies with the Magician, very active energy as well. So let's get some more insight into what's going on here. What else do we need to know? For Capricorn in love spirit. Messages, guidance, please. For Capricorn, what do we need to know? For Capricorn. What do we need to know for Capricorn in love? Okay, these two. Closed off. Guarded, defensive, resistant, and inner voice. So hmm, when I see these two together, it's kind of like the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles um, or the Four of Swords even. So no communication here. I feel like there's something that's unsaid or someone's closed off and not communicating something. We have Balancing Act, Juggling Indecision. Yeah, I feel like someone's debating whether they want to open up or speak up here. Yeah, bottom of the deck, hidden, feeling, hidden feelings. <laughs> so exactly, that's kind of what I'm seeing here is that someone has been holding back what they feel. Let's get some energies here. Let's clarify and see what's going on. Clarifying energy, please, for Capricorn. Tell me about the magician. Let's start there. Six of Wands. Yeah, this is this is that person that wants success, victory, recognition. There's this is someone that wants to achieve something. Okay, judgment. What else we need to know about the magician? This could be a judgment call that someone's making. Um, could also be that someone's having a realization about what they want to manifest or create or what they want to make happen. It could be also a resurrection of some sort of rebirth. We'll see. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so the, the goal is already in someone's mind. I think it's this Ten of Pentacles, which is long-term success, long-term security, long-term commitment. They want it all. Similar to like the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is having it all. So tell me about the Page of Cups and the King of Cups. A lot of love here, genuine emotion, sensitive um, 
energies with the cups, especially the king of cups. They tend to be very emotional, emotionally mature. I cannot get my words out right now. Three of wands. Okay. So again, this energy of someone waiting to reveal what they feel. Tell me about the king of cups and the page of cups. Okay. We have the, uh, this is a lot. Two of cups. So, you know, someone feels a very strong partnership here. Nine of swords. There's that overthinking, that fear again. Someone could be feeling anxious. Nine of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is someone you would admire, look up to, symbolizes like someone independent, free, someone that has achieved a lot. And the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like this person has achieved a lot or, or wants to achieve a lot with you. Um, maybe they admire you and they want to step up their game here. But this Three of Wands, it's almost like there's hesitation and I think it's due to fear. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I think this person also might be thinking that they have to fight for your attention or fight to win you, perhaps, uh, because of the Six of Wands. You know, the Six of Wands is someone that's victorious, right? They've been to battle and they've won. Um, you might have a lot of suitors, a lot of people that are looking at you or paying attention, or a lot of people that you might choose instead is kind of what I'm picking up here. Okay, tell me about the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we have Death, Scorpio Energy. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Six of Wands here, the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy. You always show up as a queen of pentacles in my readings. So I feel like this is you. Tell me about the knight of pentacles and the six of wands. Five of cups and the four of wands. Hmm. Eight of swords again at the bottom of the deck. So the five of cups is about regret, sadness, disappointment. I think someone's missing you. And it's like when they think about you. They think about what they could have with you. And they also, I feel, it's like they fantasize. They have like dreams, fantasies regarding you. That four of wands is reminding me of that ten of pentacles, right? It's almost like this energy of having it all. Being very happy and fulfilled. Tell me about this four of wands. Tell me about this Four of Wands. Queen of Cups. A lot of love there. Injustice. Yeah. Libra energy. It's almost like, yes, this, this would be exactly what I want. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Now, the Knight of Cups with Justice, I instantly think of an apology, making things right. Um, but I don't know if this is an actual apology. Let's see. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Now, the death card with Five of Cups could be that someone's regretting an ending of some sort and wishing for success regardless. Tell me about the Five of Cups. What do I need to know? The Hangman. Tell me about the Five of Cups. The World. Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups. They're thinking a lot about you. Hangman and Seven of Cups with um, the Five of Cups is like thinking a lot about the past. And again, fantasizing, dreaming, Seven of Cups. Um, and it's almost like they're, they're wishing to take some sort of action here with the world. Action that starts something new. Very similar to like the Magician here. Making something happen. Tell me about judgment. I'm just curious. And there's the Knight of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about, I think that this Page of Cups and this Eight of Wands, they're hoping like kickstart something. Tell me about the judgment card. Why is judgment here? 
Six of Cups. This is about the past. Page of Pentacles. This is someone from your past, but I don't think it's a recent past. Why did I think that? I don't know. Let's look here at this Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords here? There's the King of Cups again. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords. This is them sending you a message. Might be a quick, like, surprising message or sudden message, I guess I should say that's the word. Sudden message. Yeah. Unexpected sudden message. The Tower. Now there's a Two of Swords. So I feel like this is someone that's fighting themselves here. This could be somebody from your childhood, someone from like school, back in the day, or it could be a past life connection. Someone that comes into your life, maybe at work or at the gym or at a social event, a club, workshop, work trip, etc., etc., etc. But I feel like the energy here is of like a new person. Perhaps let's let's break this down into two scenarios. Scenario one is that this is a past life person and they feel an instant connection with you. Two of cups. There's emotions and I feel like these emotions come quickly. Uh, and I feel like this person is maybe fearful of letting you know how they feel. So for example, if this is a coworker, they might be hesitant. If this is someone that you've always just been friends there might be hesitation there if this is someone that meets you and you're like traveling somewhere you don't even live in the same area then they're thinking well this might not go anywhere something like that the second scenario is a past person but i feel like this past person i don't know i'm not getting apology very strongly it's almost like this is someone from the past that you don't expect. So I don't, you know, this energy here of sudden unexpected energy with the King of Cups is almost like this is whoever you have in mind, that's not it, right? And so when I think of that, I think if you are gonna have someone in mind, it's someone that you've recently been in contact with, someone that you're in contact with now, et cetera, et cetera. But I feel like this person has not revealed their feelings. So that's why I keep going back to that energy of someone potentially new and they're kind of fighting themselves here could be a Scorpio tell me about death why is death here and even the five of cups when I clarified it it was just someone thinking about you and wanting to take action um, it doesn't necessarily the cards don't show that they're you know, regretful over something, which is usually the energy I get for you in these readings, Capricorn. Thank goodness we're not talking about that right now. But it's almost like this person might be kind of sad or regretful over the fact that they're not being a Knight of Wands. It's like they're not shooting their shot. They're thinking about you instead. And it's almost like they're trying to kick themselves out of that energy. Tell me about death. Four of Pentacles. Okay, see what I'm getting here with the Four of Pentacles, and there's the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like someone is, has held back and it caused something to end. Or it's almost like by holding back, this connection will end. They're, they're hoping for Six of Wands. They're hoping for success, a Ten of Pentacles with you. But if they don't open up, this isn't going anywhere. And they know it. King of Pentacles, there's the Sun and the Page of Swords. So it's almost like um, I need to come to Capricorn and match their energy. King of Pentacles to Queen of Pentacles here and communicate, right? Be clear, open, express myself to them. Let's get some insight into who this person might be. Can you tell us more about this person? Spirit, can you tell us more about this person that Capricorn is, has or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? The fool risks 
new beginnings, new starts, someone that's willing to put themselves out there, a leap of faith here. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. What do I need to know about this person? Five of Wands. Again, this energy of fighting, com competition. And even in this deck, it looks like two people are like going at it in a tug of war. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Hangman, the Five of Cups again, the Ten of Swords. Interesting. Four of Pentacles. So it's a similar energy that we've gotten before. Four of Swords. I think someone didn't fight for you in the past. Whether this is a past life relationship or a past connection. It could even have just been a friendship or work, a working energy. Like you would just work together or something like that. Um, let's get some clarity here. It's almost like this person will have to take a risk. And that risk means fighting for something. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Being a magician, being a knight of wands. Tell me about the fool and the five of wands. Tell me about the fool and the five of wands. The star, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool and the five of wands. Five of wands. Tell me about the fool and the five of wands. I feel like someone might have gotten in the way of this in the past. Tell me about the fool and the five of wands. Three of Swords, okay. So when I see the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, I think of fixing something. The Page of Wands, Temperance, and the Emperor. Sagittarius energy, Aries energy, wow, the Moon after that, Pisces energy. It's like they really want to take, shoot their shot, but they're not sure. Three of Cups, Four of Cups. Oh, man, there could be somebody else here. Maybe you're dating someone? Maybe this person has watched you be with other people. It's so weird because I'm not, I mean, when I see all these together, I think someone wanting to heal a problem, resolve an issue. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? False person. Message of concern. I'm very like. Let me get a hidden truth oracle before I say anything. I think I'm going to have to extend this to get more insight into this individual because I feel like there's a tug of war here, but that's not this other energy. So now I'm starting to wonder if there's two people here duking it out for you. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. Because when I see false person and message of concern with main female and occupation, it's almost like all of these energies together is someone that hasn't, has hidden something, hidden feelings, right? Which we've already seen. A message of concern is kind of like receiving something or a message that you're concerned about or worried about or a message that you find alarming, which is this Tower and Knight of Swords energy, right? It's a sudden, unexpected message to this person. And the occupation card at the bottom of the deck is telling me that someone's working on this. This is very similar to the Magician. So it's like your this person's energy is here. But then all these energies that I clarified, I'm like, who is this? Because it has not shown up in the other energies down here. Can I get one more, please, for this person? One more energy for this person, that Capricorn. 
is, has, or will be dealing with. I regret lying to you. I am afraid to contact you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay, Capricorn. I don't know what's going on. I think what's happening is there could this could go two ways. One scenario is you meet someone new and the past resurfaces, right? And they have to duke it out for you. But what I'm getting also, and I can't shake this energy, is someone was not honest with their feelings in the distant past. It's like they've loved you from afar all along and you don't know about it. So when I see this, I regret lying to you, I get more that someone just wasn't honest about shooting their shot or missed their chance with you. Like they missed a chance with you. That's the energy that I've been seeing. But I'm wondering now if I'm right about that. Because whoever this is down here, whoever this is down here, they're going to shock you. They're going to surprise you with what they say. And they've held back in some way here. They've waited due to fear. And love you or have feelings for you. But to me, they're feelings that have never been expressed. Ever. So I just don't see how this is someone you've already dealt with. Um, if this resonated for you, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed the video or you enjoy how I read. It really helps a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you be a part of the channel. And that way you can keep track of new videos from me. Thank you so much for watching once again and take care.